Good morning. <laughs> My camera is bouncing very precariously on top of my upside down piano stool on my chair. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make sure we seen this and you have to experiment with different ways of uh, getting the camera to do its thing. But uh, hopefully this is going to work. Now, I have all this a long time ago at a grad sale. I, I bought this this sometimes it was bigger and I've used it on gifts and I've made bows out of it and uh, everything like that. Well, uh, I had had a new subscriber and sometimes when I get a new subscriber, well, all the time I look at their name and if Orchid is involved and it looks like they have a YouTube channel, I usually go check it out. So <laughs> I see. I seen one that was, it said orchids in Jamaica. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to drink water. <laughs> mm. There, that's better. Orchids in Jamaica. And I thought, oh, well, I'll go look at that. So I discovered this new channel. And I want to tell you, it's Orchid Doc uh, Growing Orchids in Jamaica. Now, they can grow orchids outside, and here, we're freezing here, we can't grow them outside. But I wanted to go look, because it's nice, it's, I guess when you're addicted to orchids, you like to see how everybody does it. You want to learn, learn, learn as much as you can. So I went to visit her, and, and she had some of this, and you should check it out, she had some of this, and she made a beautiful uh, decoration for around her Phalaenopsis. <laughs> it looks so simple. So, so I've been here and I, 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 she did, she put it on the bottom like this. And then started, check it out. It looked beautiful. Now, my watering day is probably going to be tomorrow. And I thought, well, I think I'm going to do it so that it comes off easy. So you guys can help me, and I wish you could, because I think I'm going to need more hands. But it's a little uh, frayed on the end, so I got my scissors out. And then I thought, well, I should tell you about my scissors. I've been complaining about scissors for so long, like I think it was last year. And... Jack surprises me sometimes. He listens, and I don't think he is. But anyway, my scissors got used for so many different things rather than sewing, which I do a lot of, and uh, they no longer wanted to barely cut paper. And so if I had a cut material, it was like sawing rubber. <laughs> so anyway, unbeknownst to me, he ordered me some scissors and they came in a pack of three and they're singers and I don't know if he got them Amazon or where he got them but they're a pack of, they are so good so there's this big one and then there's this nice little one and they're singers and if you see a three pack and you need scissors that it's got singer written on them and this one if you're at your sewing machine, you can just clip threads. It's quite neat. Sounds like a little birdie. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I just thought, well, this is a strange day, and everything's strange. But we're reaching the end of the strange year, I hope. But anyway, I'll just cut this um, middle. No, I'll cut it straight. Just get this awful frayed piece off. Anyway, she made it look so simple, and she seems so nice, and I enjoyed her channel, and I want to go back, oh, outside, growing beautiful, beautiful orchids. Anyway, she gave me the idea, but I'm not going to do it the same, because like I say, I have to slip it out on watering day, which will be tomorrow. And I thought, well, if I made a, it wants to fall into... 
It just wants to go into this nice long sausage thing. <laughs> so, you know, so maybe I'll let it. But it, yeah, it wants to go into this long. I knew I was going to need help. Okay, maybe it's this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it wants to go into this long sausage. And I think I'm going to let it. And then we'll see what we can do. Uh, this is not rehearsed. <laughs> you know what? I was just thinking, you know why... Um, I started into orchids because my dad was highly allergic and uh, he was allergic to flowers. Mom could never have flowers in the house. So one day I found out someone brought me, and my daughter I think brought my first orchid and I started looking about them because I didn't know anything about them and I started researching and, and um, I don't know, the love for Phalaenopsis was just a little seed and it was growing. And, and first you get the desire to learn more and then you get the determination to want to do it. And then you get so dedicated and so involved and, and um, that's how it started with me and I thought, oh, I can have these. Now there are some scented orchids, but not much, and their, po their pollen in the orchid is not airborne. It's stuck in there somehow. And uh, so the lip, of course, is, is just to, to tantalize the little pollinator to land and go in and, and, and pollinate. But anyway, for people with allergies, this is the answer. If you know somebody, or if you're, if you're getting like too many orchids. It's a beautiful time of year to give one as a gift and therefore we're going to wrap and no moon glow is like my second oldest orchid and she had a bad time but she's doing good now. Um, so what, how am I going to do this? You know what I'm thinking is, is I take this long sausage thing like this maybe go around twice. So I got some folds and things to work with. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, just to have something kind of sparkly for the season. So once I've got it twice, I think this stuff is very stretchy. So I'm going to cut it. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but you can see I took the simple way out of you. She did beautiful petals. She folded it in petals. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it gave me the idea and I knew I had this. So if you got some of this kicking around, and I'm just kind of making a sleeve that, um, maybe I should turn it so that I'm not right where the leaf is. A sleeve that I can just slide it out when I water tomorrow. Okay. Okay, we got up a bit of a something happening here. So I tied a knot on this side, and I think I should put some ribbon around it before I start kind of playing with the stretchy feeling. Um, I have some of this left. You know I'm the greatest uh, uh, thrifty buyer. And, you know, <laughs> Jack always gets gets a little, sometimes we go and someone will say, wow, I like your jacket, or, huh, you know, this looks good. And I'll go, hey, I got it at the thrift store, <laughs> you know. And then Doc will go, hey, you have to tell everybody you got it at the thrift store. But hey, probably 90% of everything is from a thrift store or a grad sale. And I don't care because we're thrifty shoppers. And you can find stuff you can't find in the store. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, now this isn't real big, but I think I should go to the side where I got this bow. I think I should tie this here, just, just to make it snug. I don't know, 
So, okay, let's tie that in there. See what we get. And then, um, we'll just put that bow like that for now. Maybe I'll tie it once more. So I'm putting a knot. So then, I think once you once you got something tied around there, this is like layers and layers of stretchy fabric. You can start kind of playing with it. So here's a nice long piece. Well, I kind of like that. <laughs> and this piece, it can maybe tuck in over here. There. No, we just need some little layers, and I kind of like how the ribbon went down to the bottom. That looks nice. <laughs> I just thought I, I would, you know, I was going to do this, and I thought, you know, you get, you get like so, I don't know, you go shopping, you don't even want to go shopping anymore, and you like get home, and you go, oh my God, thank goodness I'm home, but you know, thank goodness. We have the three of us to keep each other company. And, you know, I, it must be very hard on, on people that are alone. So if you're alone, reach out to other people. Even if it's on Skype or it, comment. I love talking to people on my comments and gotten to know a lot of people. So, um, you know, reach out to people. Don't, don't be... Be sitting alone in your house. I think that's a song. But uh, because we've all been there, we've all been had times when we've been lonely and, and need company. And and yeah, your own time is nice, but you do need to associate. This is how I associate. <laughs> but then I have Jack, and, and we bounce things off of each other. And, um, Stuff like that. So um, anyway, Orchid Stock. I'll put the I'll put her little thing in case you want to check it out and go look at her garden, her beautiful orchids. So um, you know, this is not as beautiful of her as hers, but what it's colorful, and I think I can just slip it out and then put it back in. And I thought I I thought I bought a bow, but I didn't. I just bought that ribbon, but I could make a bow. I could like take some more of this on an angle and make a little bow. Let's see. Yeah, I can use that. Okay, so let's cut a piece with my scissors. I shoveled snow yesterday, so that I thought, well, oh boy, I shoveled snow, I can have an extra cookie today. <laughs> yeah. Boy, this is only our second, maybe third, well, the first two snowfalls came together, but we haven't had, we haven't had much snow this year. Not yet, anyway. So let's see, how about if I... Make a little bow and tie it. Just wrap that around. Let's see that way and that way. And make a little knot. So all I'm doing is, you see, it, it might look okay, but it's made kind of, it's kind of glitzy stuff. And, and you know what? I can put it right there where I have my, and then this stuff you can, you can, you can uh, open it up. It's really flexible. And that kind of makes it glitter. You know, it's not that anyone's coming to dinner here either. Just, just uh, playing. Oh boy, i got to show you some other things I've been playing at. But. Okay. Here we got a bow of sorts. Okay. Yeah. What's 
that look like? I think that works. <laughs> so if I put this up here, and then I have a nice, uh, yeah, I just took a bunch of um, Christmas balls and odds and ends and threw it in a big glass vase that I got at a sale. Grad sales are no fun anymore either because of this. So I hope, sure hope, for next year they got things settled. So anyway, check it out. She had a real good way of doing it. It looked beautiful, but I just played at it because I knew I had that and I had this. And um, then um, we went into the Dollar Tree. And they had these cute little, I have to do show a close up. They had this cute little bag of little clothespins. And um, I was wanting alligator clips, but we don't really have a hobby shop here in town. And I wanted some alligator clips because I'm going to show you a close up. I had um, I had put my butterflies that I got sale on alligator clips, and then I could just clip them on. And I couldn't wait to, as my flowers are all in spike, and pretty soon I have blooms. I want to make sure they're all named again, and I want to know what color they are. So this is this is for Moon Glow. I mean. <laughs> This is her little, so it can just go anywhere on the, the stake or here, but she, she lost her name. A lot of them did, you know, they lost their name. And uh, what I did was, where is, oh, here it is. I took a little piece of plastic. I have this, um, it was hard plastic, uh, it was a wrapped around something, and I cut it all into pieces, because sometimes I want a little piece, and I put moon glow on it, and I put, instead of the alligator clips, which I can't find, there we go, moon glow has a that can clip onto the side of a pot, or on, but there's lots of little things you could do with these little, little rascals. <laughs> it would only have, Hang the most dainty of laundry though. <laughs> so I have all these butterflies, and some of the butterflies they come on wires at the dollar store. They came on. I got a bunch at a grad sale, and they're all done. But the dollar store sells them in packages like this, so you get small ones. So when you have that stake sticking out, and if it's wire like mine, you can put a little butterfly and wrap it around. Um, on the end so you don't poke your eye. So they come with wires and then you just unfold the wires and you can put them on. Um, this is on a piece of wire. The, you can use a little bamboo stick. And you can put the name on that way too. You can just take that little tiny, tiny one with the wire, how they come, and you can just put your little, your little clothes peg on there. <laughs> with a name. You could even write on the wood, and I used a permanent marker. So, um, that's sort of the fun I'm up to today. And, uh, it'll just sit on the counter and look funny. <laughs> no. Let's put it there, and then we'll, we'll take you on a little tour, and we'll just see how it looks. It looks glitzy. There, we'll put this here. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a little tour. I want to show you the painting. I had this, um, I had this, I woke up, it must have been like 3 in the morning, and I was sort of like half awake, half asleep, and I was painting, and this painting was coming in, in my, my head, and I thought, well, hmm, and it's like I was running my dream or something, but Anyway, I was painting, and I wanted to finish the painting before I woke up, because I didn't want to forget it. But as soon as I woke up, I 
and I sort of had all this stuff running through my head about this painting. It's going to be two paintings actually. And I'm painting on tile and I, I got up and I drew just, I, I'm not a good uh, pencil drawer, but I drew where I would at least understand what was going through my head. Because you know, funny how you have a dream and then you kind of forget it. So I did, I did it and I finished one. And this is the first of the paintings, it's going to be a set of two, and Jack is going to make the the frames, and I'll show you where it's going to go if I remember that long. <laughs> and uh, so this is the first. It wasn't a scary dream, no matter what you think when you look at the painting. It wasn't a scary dream. It was a dream about how the world is troubled, and 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 you know, and about. The phoenix rising, and it was just, you know, it was just, don't ask me why, but anyway, I'll show you that painting, and then, and then I'm going to be soon drawing out the other one and starting it. I'm going to show you the orchids, and uh, <laughs> I'll show you this from a different angle, and check her out, and I'll make sure I pin it under there, because she did a much better job than I did, but hey, it's glitzy. <laughs> So let's go for a little tour. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Here it is. Be prepared. Now, there's, there's little animals hiding in the bushes. And the red bird is the phoenix waiting to rise. So, and... See what else you can see in my painting. <laughs> so that's my painting. There'll be a second one that goes with it. So um, over here is the rabbit's foot fern. It wasn't happy where I had it, so I have some water for humidity here, and and I moved it over here, and it seems a little happier. I see new shoots coming here and there does seem a little happier, but it does, it does keep losing some. I hope it's just the time of the year. But it does seem happier here, so I think I'll leave it there. And, and it has the company of the Hoya there. So, okay, that was the paint. And so when I moved that there, I had to move. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? I had to move this one over here. It got repotted into this big, big pot. Seasy plant. It just loves anywhere I put it. It just, look at how it's growing. It's just beautiful stalks. There's a, a new one coming in here. It's very happy here. And I had to repot it. And, in one of the videos, I had it just out laying on the floor, and then I put it in this urn I had and painted the urn. It was just an urn I had outside, so that got moved there. And then uh, everything sort of went on a move I bought all this time, but I got a new leaf coming here on my Calathea. I've never had one of these before. Actually, there's two leaves coming here, so... It's kind of a shaded corner. And here's my pot waiting for an orchid. Nothing in the grocery stores. They didn't look... If I can't find something really different, I'm not getting it because I don't want to make it so my work is too much. But I have lots of spikes coming. It's going to be beautiful. And I, I was thinking maybe Christmas, but it's looking more like... The new year. So lots of lots of spikes. So it just snowed yesterday and I, then I shoveled so it's pretty out there right now. So we'll go in the other room. I'll show you where my two paintings are gonna go. Oh here here's I should show you this from here. Okay. It's a little glitzy. <laughs> I may work at it. 
Yeah, you need ten hands when you're doing something like that, but <laughs> it's just for fun. Hey, got to do something. That's for sure. So, I should turn my lights out now. If you can see, at night when it's dark, I keep these on till we go to bed. It's just that LED strip light that it sticks. And then Jack, I think you can get them with controllers, but he put them on these little switches. And so they get that much extra light at night because it goes right around this window. This one's getting a beautiful long spike. And they're all basically, they're all doing their thing. Look at the Monet pod. This is so beautiful. She is loaded. Now, I put the white one when I did this a few years ago and I put them in this pot. Um, they flowered every year since. And there's purple on the outside, they're behind, and, and the white one here. Just beautiful. So, yeah. So, I'll show you where, um, try not to turn too fast. I'll show you where the picture is going. So when you come up the elevator, here's the elevator door. So you come up the elevator, and as you're rising up the elevator, you see this wall, and this wall is bare right here. We don't have too many bare walls, but up here is my paintings I did on porcelain tile. And then one I did on a video one time, I did a pour. And these part, the fishies, they turn out so good. But the, the, the big one, it kind of hides it. So what I want to do is have a frame exactly like these which Jack's going to try and make and two down here so when you're coming up the elevator you will see this 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 <laughs> so anyway that's where that's going I'm working on the other one there's our little tree <laughs> yeah this oh <laughs> This is where we moved our music station because I moved the black cabinet in the other room and the music here by the TV. It's actually working out better. Oh, but look at the beautiful day out here. It'll be a beautiful walk. We see the lake and the mountains. And we had a couple days of lots of rain, but you know, it poured at night and it was beautiful in the day. So I'm going to see you again before around Christmas Eve or something. I'm not sure when. i got some planned. So we'll see you then. I love you all. And uh, leave lots of comments. Keeps me busy. Bye for now.